From this beautiful campus in Rome, Georgia, new scientific insights and discoveries are being made using Web of Science. Founded in 1902, Berry College is a private liberal arts institution located 70 miles north of Atlanta, Georgia, where we've been finding out about how students and faculty are preparing for a life in scientific research and beyond. We normally associate research with larger universities and institutions, and we often focus on postgraduate and postdoctoral research. But of course, every PhD was an undergraduate at some time. So today we look at a very successful college, which is not only carrying out its own groundbreaking research, it's preparing new researchers for scientific careers. Here's Berry College Provost, Mary Boyd. Uh, Berry College has always had a commitment to education of students, the whole student. So we think of that as educating the heart, the head, and the hands of the student. And we want, when students graduate, we want them to be positioned for success in whatever their next step is going to be. So we want students to know of their interests so they have a direction where they want to go, but we also want them to have some direction and momentum to carry them forward. A primary part of that heart, head and hands approach is the commitment at Berry to teach students how to be researchers, and that requires facilities and resources. Berry College, along with regional college partners, put together a consortium to bring Web of Science to their respective campuses. Here's Mary Boyd again. An institution like Berry College will, of course, have more limited resources than a research intensive institution. So being able to partner with Clarivate really helps us in many different directions. It helps us because it provides the type of technical support that our lib librarians can use. It also helps with um, um, user support. Partnership with Clarivate is really essential to us because it allows us to provide access for our students and faculty to the same resources to all the different publishing vendors that students and faculty at larger institutions would have. Now, if you're lucky enough to study at Berry, you most likely will also be offered a part-time paid job, which has a number of advantages. Berry College has um, a work program, which I think is really significant by its breadth. So every student who wants a job on campus is guaranteed one. Students can identify the type of work experience that they think would help to advance their own personal and professional development. So a student in the sciences might choose to do undergraduate research and be paid for doing that work in the laboratory. Um, a student interested in library sciences could work here at Memorial Library. And speaking of the library, Mary mentioned the librarians and their role in supporting both students and faculty. During our visit to Berry, we met the director of Berry College Library, Sherry Harrington. We asked her what was special about the library here. So there are a couple of things that I think are very Berry about uh, the library. One of them is the emphasis of student staff, the emphasis on student staff, the importance that we place on them, um, because that's just a complete alignment with the student work program at Barry. Um, and so for students who come in, they're likely that the first person they encounter is going to be another student. Um, and so we hope that we train them well. They do achieve remarkable proficiency in doing reference. And so here we have a liberal arts college whose key role is to equip students for their future lives. Mark Turlington is assistant professor of chemistry at Berry, and he's responsible for a new class for freshmen. But it's called Introduction to Mathematical and Scientific Research, and it's an invitation-only course for our incoming freshmen in math and the sciences, and really we're targeting our best students for that. So the purpose of the course, it kind of has three goals. The first, I would say, is to get students um, kind of excited about research, to realize that research is something that they can actually be a part of. So when I came to college as an undergraduate many years ago, you know, I knew I was going to learn a lot of new information, but I had no idea I could participate in creating new information. Um, and I found that that was really exciting and really fulfilling. And at Berry College, we're inviting our students into that process as well. Um, and so I just want our students to be aware of that early on so we can really take advantage of the whole time that they have at Berry to accomplish that. Mark believes students then need to step back and appreciate the bigger picture of what they're doing and why. So there's the doing the research piece and the thinking like a scientist piece. Both of those have to go together. So 
chemistry kind of works on an apprenticeship model in many ways. I'm the master apprentice, right? And I know the techniques. I know the big picture behind the project. And I'm trying to get the students trained to where they transition into that role where they're an independent scientist. And a major technique is knowing how to find the right research, which Mary Boyd believes is essential for her students. For our students to be competitive in applying to graduate school, professional schools, and for some different um, forms of employment in industry and business, students need to be able to have access to those to scholarly resources. Berry College is committed to ensuring that students are successful upon graduation, whether that's in applications to graduate school, to professional schools, or seeking employment in industry or business. And in order to be competitive, our students need to have had the same type of opportunities to have access into the literature, to past research, um, and to know how to use those tools properly. Even in our first year freshman courses, students are expected to do really thorough, rigorous searches of the literature um, as they're preparing to write essays, um, if they're working in a research laboratory and need to understand the type of research that's happened before. So I think all the way through a student's um, undergraduate career at Berry College, um, we want them to be really engaged in the library. We want them to be able to use professional tools so that they can compete um, upon graduation and be um, as successful as students who come from a larger um, research intensive institution. Finally, how would Sherry Harrington sum up Berry's decision to buy Web of Science? For me, a really important reason for choosing Web of Science, I mean, we canceled something else to get it. Um, it was a biology specific resource and we really were looking for something for the disciplines that don't have a go-to tool. We were looking for something that was really comprehensive. And um, I don't think people think of animal science as being um, that elemental to the sciences. But for our students, it's a critical discipline. And I was actually really surprised to see how um, how robust the coverage of the animal science literature was. But for me, in addition to exposing students to the, to the content, was exposing them to the tool and having them a little more um, prepared for postgraduate study. Because we know a lot of our students go on to graduate school or, or veterinary school or medical school, um, and to use the tools of serious science research um, I think is really, really important. Um, and so we try to have we try to have those tools. And it was only because you guys were willing to be innovative in coming up with a way that three small liberal arts colleges could um, could offer that tool to their students. Our thanks to Berry College for allowing us to make this video. And if you're a liberal arts college or a librarian looking to extend your services to students, faculty and staff, Clarivate Analytics may be able to help you to increase the value of your services and improve learning outcomes with Web of Science. Please click the link at the end of this video to learn more or get in touch. Thank you for watching.